Welcome to Super Comfy. Today I want to walk you through my ControlNet tiled powered upscaling and an image restoration tool. And we're going to turn images such as these into 4K clean images. So this automatic workflow is pretty simple. I will have a manual version of this workflow uh, later in the video. But the only thing you have to do is not man automatic is uh, put in a basic description of the image you see here so we have a asian woman she has lip gloss black hair and she's wearing a necklace and i'd like to bypass the second and third images because we need to make sure we get a good base image so in this case, we have an extra strand of necklace that doesn't match. So what I like to do is just mess around with the seed until we get a good starting image. So this is roughly what the original looks like. So we will keep this one. And then now we can just un bypass the number two and three. And now it's going to generate the four megapixel and then the 16 megapixel, which is the 4K. Technically, it's double 4K, but as you can see, the details are starting to come in. And if you don't like the fact that she has her mouth open slightly, which in the original image seems like it is closed, then again, I would mess around with the seed. And also, you should touch the control net strength a little bit as as I written here, I've, the strength is important as it is blended with the original, but if the original is bad, then you're going to get more artifacts. So if you have a higher quality starting image, especially with not as many artifacts and blurry, blurriness, then you can bump up the strength a little bit to around 0.55. But other than that, you should mess around with the seed until you find a good starting image. Finally, in the third sampler, we are using an image blend of the original plus the second pass. And if the second pass is a good quality match, the first, so in this case, it looks about the same as the first pass, then you should probably just leave it about 0.66. But otherwise, you can reduce it to get more of the original image if you have a good starting base. And now at the last step, as you can see, the color is a little bit different. This is due to the image blend, um, adding a little bit of extra saturation warmth, which may not be wanted. So I have a optional node that can tweak the image colors a little bit. Uh, I would recommend you guys to just take this image into Photoshop or Photo P. Um, uh, but otherwise, if you want to use this node, you can try to match the color of the image to the original a little better and as you can see reduce a little bit of the redness and increase the brightness a tiny bit so it's closer to the original but it's not quite perfect but obviously this is a much much higher quality image we have a mere 225 pixels on the original and we changed it and upscaled it all the way to 4k so this is pretty impressive if you ask me myself but let's move on to the manual workflow okay so with the manual workflow we have a lot more control in refining our image but this will take some more time just experimenting so i have wrote a general guide that you could follow you could do also just do whatever you want but this is what worked for me. And what you want to do first is generate a face base image with the control image. So we have the control image here. Do you want to make sure they're both set to the control and base image and set to one megapixels and then strength. Um, I set to the one, one, but you can definitely start at 0 0.7, 0 0.7, for example. And then uh, let's go ahead and run that. So yeah, um, there is some more of that weird texture. Uh, so I'm going to actually increase 
the the noise just a little bit and decrease the strength. 0.5 is around, I'd say, is the sweet spot. So yeah, it looks a lot better than the original already, but obviously it's um, not the same as the original. So once we have the base image, we can set that as the base image over here just by copying the clip space and then pasting the clip space. So now we want to actually switch the base image to the control image. So set that to control image and then change the upscale to 4 megapixels and then upscale method is already nearest exact and then I, I think this is actually fine 0.5.8 let's go ahead and run that and see what that gives us so each time you are upscaling it's going to take four times the amount of time because the first image will just generate one pass which is uh just running the k sampler once but then if you generate the four megapixels, you're going to run it, I believe, four times because it's a 2048 image. So 1024, 1024, 1024, 1024. But as you can see here, the second pass is already looking pretty good. And I forgot to mention the you should describe the original image a little bit, especially if you have special features that you want to preserve, such as color of her lips for example or the color of her eyes as you can see here it switched to a more greenish blue so if you want to keep some details consistent uh hair color is a thing too if you want, if you want her to keep black hair you should definitely put it in the prompt um but i, I don't really care about that so <laughs> it's just set it to 16 megapixel uh remove the prompt if you haven't already usually i get weird art artifacts pop up when i'm generating 16 megapixel with a prompt so like if you have uh, blue eyes for example random blue eyes will show up in uh, random places so definitely remove the prompt when you set the 16 megapixels and then you want to set the strength to 0.5 so we already have that then you want to lower the denoise a little bit so 0.66 it's good and i also said you want to decrease the denoise even more if the picture looks okay but if it looks really artifacty and whatever you should uh, increase it a little bit up to 0.8 and for the control image for the final time you should switch this to the 16 megapixel version and then uh, just click generate and then let's go ahead and wait alrighty the final image just generated and it is decent for sure it looks more like a canvas of a painting but you can uh, increase the blend factor over here or increase the denoise a little bit but the danger with that is the higher the denoise the more inconsistencies you might see uh, as the tiles generate there is a little bit of overlap, um, but that can cause the textures to change at some point because it's blending uh, a tile with another tile. And you can increase the tile overlap to uh, 0.5 max. So that's going to have an overlap basically all around halfway. And that's going to double your generation time. But this took about 60 seconds for me. So uh i'm pretty patient so let's go ahead and tweak those settings and see what improvements we can make um so yeah increase the denoise a little bit and then increase the tiling and then yeah we'll be back and see what results we get finally the generation just completed and we do have way better image texture in my opinion than the last generation but we have a more color and consistency so you kind of uh, win some lose some and that's the beauty of this manual workflow you can go ahead and tweak the settings however you like until you get your perfect image but still this is insane <laughs> just to go from this insanely crazy low quality image to a 
4K. This is actually double 4K uh, if you count the pixel count. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like and possibly subscribe if you're looking for similar content like this. That being said, I'll see you guys later.